How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, I've took a ride here into Home Depot to get myself a couple pieces of styrofoam, two by two for the pond, and for four pieces, it was $37. What is really going on? $37 for four pieces of insulation. That's wonderful. That is just wonderful. Well, I guess no hot dogs this week. Sorry about that. Spent money on insulation. Why wouldn't I? What I'm doing is I, instead of closing my pond, I just have a little pond up front. You guys know that if you've been watching me for a while. If you haven't, then I have a little pond up front. Go back and see the other videos there, and you'll see the pond I'm talking about. I always close it every year. But I figured this year, you know what? In my neck of the Ontario here, it doesn't get as cold as it used to. So I'm going to try and run it all winter. It's just kind of one of them things I've been wanting to try for the last couple of years and I haven't bothered to. So this year, I went and I got myself some of that East Trough heating line, which I got 60 feet of it and it's 300 watts. So it's not like super hard on hydro. It's not bad on hydro. So I buried my filtration system into the ground and I wrapped that around it down the pipes to the pond on both inlet and outlet and put styrofoam around it. And now I'm going to make a lid that goes over it, the styrofoam. The wire itself, if you check it, it's like 91 on the wire side. So it actually feels pretty friggin' warm. So I got to put a couple pieces of styrofoam on top of the pond surface, of course, because heat escapes out of the top of the pond out of, out of water like nothing. So maybe we put a couple of pieces of styrofoam to float around the surface there. That will help keep the heat in as well. So we're going to try it, see what happens. Yesterday I worked on it for about two and a half hours and got all the wiring ran and buried and this and that and the other thing. Now I just got to make the lid for it, put the styrofoam where I need to put it. So as I'm heading back home here, I figured I'd come on here and tell you. I should have just recorded the whole thing doing it, but like I haven't I haven't had the ambition to do videos like I used to because my attitude has changed. I don't have the same attitude I used to have because everything is so damn expensive anymore. You can't buy anything to work on anymore. Like my step van, you know, she's shut down until at least next year. I haven't got a cent to spend on that son of a bitch. This poor guy in front of me looks like he got uh, some two by fours. Yeah, he, no, two by, he got some two by fours. I'd say probably about 30 of them. Here, I don't know if I can show you or not. Let me see if I can, how do you spin this thing while you're recording? Can you, or can't you? Oh man, you have to stop the video to do it? Come on. He's got about 30 two by fours and a bunch of two by sixes. And that probably cost him I bet you 400 bucks. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Halloween's over. Christmas is next. What do you think of that? I'm recording with my iPhone 15, so Pro Max. I know, I just complain about money, but I'm on financing on this phone. And I didn't want to buy my other one out for $600, so I just stayed on financing, and they sent me a new phone. I sent the other one back, so Bob's your uncle. Much easier that way. Less money. Not in the long run, but whatever so i've been wanting to try recording uh, on the new phone and this is a front firing camera too this isn't the back firing camera so supposedly the front camera is supposed to be 4k too you know the facey time camera that's what i'm using right now so you're gonna have to let me know how it looks anyways let's get home here and then i'll show you what i've done all right so here we go here's where i buried my filter so I buried my filter here, and I ran all these heating lines all the way around, all the way down. Through the tubes to the pond over here, through this to the inlet, I wrapped the heater around that thing where the waterfall is, and I also have a heater in the pond right there. So I built this box right here that goes over top of this. And it fits very well, actually. The only thing is I'm waiting for the silicone to dry and then I'm going to give a quick spray paint and I'll show you how it goes on if I can set this thing up here somewhere. So, in theory, this thing 
should fit right over top of this thing in theory and that's a pretty good theory right there there you go see covered all the way around around the cords got a little bit in here but i can shove some foam down in there that's no big deal but other than that that's pretty good Friggin' right that's pretty good but anyways there you go let me know in your comments down below if you think this is going to work for the winter like i said i am going to put some foam over top of the water as well to keep the heat in we'll have to see what happens so this is a short video hopefully you enjoyed it and until the next one there you go